Hey, Mr. Mike here. Uh, a few months ago, I hurt my hand. Couldn't play the guitar. I couldn't wrap my hand around the guitar to play. And uh, couldn't bar the chords either. I had to stretch my hand too much. And then a month after that, I broke, broke my hand. So I couldn't grasp it. So I had this banjo laying around. And uh, I could never get to hang a, playing the banjo. But I said, uh, well, that neck is real narrow on this. There's got to be something I can do with it. So this was a five string banjo. Had a peg right in here. And uh, I tried playing it, tried getting the hang of it, but I just couldn't use my fingertips. And uh, I said, uh, I'm going to put some light strings on. And then I uh, kept trying to tune it in banjo tuning, and I couldn't sing with it. I sing in the key of C. When I played a guitar, it was always a C, F, and G that I like to do simple three-chord country playing. And uh, I couldn't sing all the songs with it. So I decided to take out the fifth string because it just seemed to be getting in the way. I took it out, tried uh, playing banjo tuning for four string, and it just didn't seem to work. So then I said, I'm going to tune it to guitar, open C. And as soon as I did that, started playing around with it. Every song I did on the guitar, I could play on this banjo. So I started playing with the peg in it, working good, but then the peg seemed to irritate my thumb. And it's okay if you have a really good uh, banjo laying around, you don't know how to play, you want to learn how to play it or something like that. And uh, you just don't want to take all the time to learn all that fancy stuff. Uh, you can leave the peg in, just take the string off, then it won't be in your way. And uh, if you just slide your hand up to the peg, your first finger will automatically be on the fifth fret. And then your, this finger would be on the seventh fret. And that's all you need to play songs. Open C, F. G. Now if you're uh, singing, you like to sing a lot, you may not be singing in the key of C. So the thing is, you'd have to tune it to an open chord that you sing in. <clears throat> and it's better to stick with the major chords, like D or G, open G, open D. And uh, that way, Anybody that plays guitars, mandolins, whatever they play, they could keep up with you real easy. They could play with you with no problem. However, you couldn't play with everybody. So this is just for your own personal enjoyment, but anybody you know that plays could play right along with you with no problem. Now this is a cheap banjo. And uh, it's funny because when you go to the music shops, a lot of times they don't set up their instruments. They just take them out of the boxes and put them on the shelf. And I, for years I've sat down and tried strumming on a banjo in a music shop and it just sounded terrible, you know. So I, I never really wanted to learn it. I always liked the banjo, but... Uh, I had this cheap one, so I said, well, I'll figure out how to, how to fix this thing. You can find all that information out on YouTube. And uh, I just have a few simple steps that I did with this one. The neck was way up. The strings were quite a ways away from the, the fretboard there. And uh, I adjusted the neck down. 
this part here was way up. So I make this one quarter inch from the head. I make these strings one quarter inch from the uh, fret. And the bridge here is exactly the same distance to the 12th fret as the 12th fret is to the, the nut on the top. So that's all it is. And usually the heads aren't that, that good when you get them right out of the box. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. But it's good to tighten these down and get the, get the head tightened on it. Now it don't have to be perfect because you're only playing three chords. Uh, you're not being in a, a band. But uh, you can have it set up professionally if you want, but it's, it's not that hard. So then you have your three chords. Now every song I downloaded on YouTube already, I got almost 40 on there now, I decided I'm, I'm going to do every song in the same pattern. Same strum pattern, and uh, you can go into any song that I put on YouTube with the same strum pattern. And uh, so actually only one lesson is all you need and you can play, I mean I play over 300 songs like this. But uh, I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible because a lot of folks would love to learn how to play some kind of stringed instrument. And this is probably the easiest way you've ever seen. So we have uh, C, F, and G. And the strum pattern is down on the thumb and up on the first finger. And that's it. Down on the thumb, up on the first finger. Now you just sit there in your chair and you just you just get used to doing that. Now the other thing is, the only other thing that's good to know just for a change of tone is to hit the second string. Alternate. Doesn't matter if you do or not, but like that. Top string, then the next string. And that's it. You can keep one, just the top if you want. That gives it just a little extra. And sometimes when I end a verse, I'll just go up twice on the first finger. And that's it. Every song I put on there is just like that. So you can start out any song you want. Like a Merle Haggard. First thing I remember knowing was a lonesome whistle blowing. Youngins dream of growing up to ride. Real easy. <clears throat> or you can go into Johnny Cash. I hear that train coming, rolling round the bend. Ain't seen the sun shine since. I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on. Simple, simple, simple. Or you can go into gospel. Swing low, sweet cherry, I'm coming for to carry me same strum pattern, same strum pattern. Well, you can go into the blues. Let's see. Pretty good one. Well, the one from back in the 1800s called the Worried Man Blues. 
Lay me down to sleep, went down to the river, lay me down to sleep, went down to the river, lay me down to sleep when I woke up and shackles on my feet. Takes a worried man to sing a worried song, see that's so easy. Now once you learn it slow you can always pick up the speed. speed you want to play at, but learn it slow first. And that's all there is to it. And uh, I do hope you have a lot of fun, and if you do learn anything from it, leave a comment, and uh, if you have any questions, just put it on the comments, and hit the thumbs up or subscribe, and uh, enjoy playing music, because that's what it's all about. Have a lovely day.